a shall warm up yum wa aqua to the elect of the nation of israel to the no praises to yahweh bashem to have shai bashem akadash of honor to the apostles and elders at great millstone for men that taught me the hundred percent truth according to the holy scriptures shall warm to those like foreigners who are scattered amongst the heathen in these last days in these last days the so-called negroes the so-called latinos and you so-called Native Americans who make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And real quick, okay, this is a uh, testimony pursuant to Revelation 19 and 10, okay, the uh, spirit of prophecy or the testimony of the Yahushai is the spirit of prophecy. An example of a prophecy in these last days known as the uh, MOTD, okay, the RFID, okay, uh, microchip. See, and, um, you know, today, man, you know, it's weird. You know, me and uh, Akio, okay, we went to, uh, you know, before work, you know, in spirit, okay, we went to a, a local Walmart, okay, and this Walmart was uh, was shut down, okay, and the reason why it, it was shut down is, as you see in the uh, thumbnail, okay, it says what? Due to storage system, we are ghosts, okay, due to storage system, we are ghosts, all right, and that, uh, that system, okay, that goes into a... Uh, Esau's technology, man, you know, his devices. So what Esau is doing in these last days, okay, Esau is, uh, you know, doing uh, test runs. Okay, he's uh, testing, okay, his new, okay, global reset, okay, which that global reset will come in the form of the, uh, the microchip, man, okay, the, uh, the Karakna, okay, the uh, Karaks, the Grapples. When you go into that, the Greek word of Karakna, Revelation 13, Okay, it goes into Karax and Karax, the root word Karax is Grapples, where if you have a so-called passport, you know, your so-called debit card, your so-called social security, okay, okay, or any data, okay, pretty much your carbon footprint, man, is all going to be, okay, implanted, okay, inserted or transferred to a digital RFID microchip, okay, RFID is an acronym for radio frequency identification man so again man so there's a testimony you know before we um you know as to lock it as soon as we got to the uh, the walmart okay it was around you know 8 20 8 30 in the morning okay and it said what it said due to storage system we are ghosts and i asked one of the employees at walmart if that was the first time that it happened okay in that in that so-called okay local store and Okay, and the, the employee said what? He said, this is the third time it happens, okay, in a week. Okay, the third time it happens in a week. And it has never been happening, okay, since he started working there. He's never seen, okay, you know, uh, systems shutting down. Okay, when it goes into systems, it goes into, you know, the various, you know, computers, you know, the cashiers, okay, pretty much the Internet of Things, man. And these are examples of, okay, prophecy. Okay, and this is a testimony for your uh, Akium, okay, to be uh, diligent, to be circumspect, man, because at any time, okay, this uh, devil we saw eat him, okay, he's going to start, you know, shutting uh, shutting down his uh, local targets, you know, his Walmarts, you know, Amazon, okay, he's going to start, you know, you know, playing with this uh, technology to uh, start a, a, a great reset, okay, and that great reset go, goes into the RFID, okay, uh, microchip. So real quick, this is Revelation 19 and 10. And this is John the Revelator speaking. It says, Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, right, well, he that's going into the angel. Okay, the angel that had, that was uh, responsible to reveal, okay, the uh, prophecies to John the Revelator out of the uh, Adam of Patmos. It says, don't worship me. I am thy fellow servant. <clears throat> yeah, even the angels, okay, are fellow servants of the prophets. Okay. Simple the word servant means to serve. And how do the angels serve the prophets? By providing them, okay, revelation, by providing them prophecy. And of thy brethren. Yeah, and, and who are thy brethren? Okay. Uh, Yahweh Shai said, Well, who is my brother? Who is my uh, mother? For he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai, for your true brothers are those who are doing the work. Okay, the brothers that are, um, you know, giving out charity, who are, you know, helping the ministry. 
and ultimately, you know, a brother or a sister who's putting a food on the table, okay, spiritually speaking, he said, and with thy brethren to have the testimony of Yahawashai, you see, and the only uh, men in this world who have the testimony of, Yah of Yahawashai are the servants of the prophets pursuant to Amos 3, 7. It says, of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahawashai, worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahawashai is the spirit of prophecy, you see? And one of the top prophecies is the, uh, the prerogative. Like it tells you that in Revelation 13 and 10, okay, that's known as the hour of temptation, okay, pursuant to Revelation 3 and 10. Let me get the Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of thy patience. Okay, who's the word? The word is Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, read us a right the ninth chapter. Okay, read uh, John 1 and 1. It says, Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of thy patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, right? And that hour goes into a season. So when that so-called global reset, okay, um, is on, on display, okay, throughout the whole earth, primarily here in Babylon the Great. Matter of fact, uh, recently you had this, uh, this, uh, the, the king of Babylon, you know, Joe Butthead, you know, he, uh, he, uh, uh, he displayed, he displayed a message on Twitter Okay, about uh, Babylon being the you know the, the forefront the, the center of the microchips now you see that and that's a major prophecy if not one of the uh, top three prophecies okay um, you know under the uh, you know World War three okay that's one of the major prophecies and yeah the house shall return okay so one of the top three prophecies in the scriptures okay you know speaking as a man you know number one the return of the shy in his kingdom number two you know World War three Number three is the RFID microchip, okay, which goes into, you know, uh, other prophecies like martial law, World War Three. It says Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Yeah, and this in red letters, and this is how we should speak, man. So if you're being led, okay, and you hold on to this truth, which the truth is how we should pursue to John 13 and 6, okay, he will keep you, he will keep thee, Salakil, from the hour of temptation, okay, meaning he's going to, okay, deliver you, man, from, you know, the uh, temptation, the, the most major temptation ever, man, because if you don't have this uh, so-called, okay, uh, karakma, karaks or grapples, you won't be able to buy or sell, pretty much, you won't be able to have the power, okay, to go to and fro, okay, and, uh, you know, run errands and handle, uh, you know, your worldly business, which is Revelation 3 and 10, behold, so it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, and that whole earth, okay, you know, primarily the whole earth, of course, you know, obviously, but the world, okay, the whole world of Israel. So, hey, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, okay, uh, primarily here in Babylon the Great, starting with the, uh, the one third and even the two thirds, man, we're all going to get tried. Okay, it says, one second, just a second. It says, verse 11, Behold, I come quickly. Yeah, Yahushua is on his way, man. How can you tell that Yahushua is coming uh, quickly? Okay, he's uh, hastening his return. Uh, hey, the prophecies, man, and, and there's a great example. Okay, you know, systems are shutting down. Okay, not just in Walmart, man, but, you know, various other, okay, uh, you know, enterprises that Esau Eden has in this uh, wicked kingdom. It says, Revelation 3, 11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold hold that fast which thou hast, which is this truth, man. Okay, this truth is what's going to keep us stable, okay, during the hour of temptation. Okay, it tells you that in the book of Isaiah 33, 6, if I'm not mistaken. Matter of fact, let me get that. Okay, which there's another testimony, there's another prophecy according to the scriptures. Isaiah 33 and 6, and it says, And in wisdom also I advise, Yahweh is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath built Zion with judgment and righteousness. And who is Zion? Zion, okay, is a, a, a monument, okay, a, a place of remembrance. Okay, and Yahweh Shai has remembered Zion, okay, 
you know, even before the foundations of this earth, man, he said, Isaiah 33 and verse 5, Yahweh is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He has built Zion, which are you so far in those Latinos Native Americans, starting with the elect, the prophets with judgment and righteousness and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yeah, this is true. This is what's going to keep your brothers and sisters stable, man, when, you know, when all hell breaks loose. Because an example of all hell breaking loose, man, is that so-called Buddha reset, okay, the outward temptation, which is what, you know, the, um, the choice you, you will have to make. Okay, whether you're going to bow down to the image of Baal or you're going to bow down to the image of the Hawaii Hawshai, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Hawshai is his treasures. Yeah, so your true treasures, man. Okay, is the Hawaii Hawshai, the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. And that's what's going to, you know, help you, okay, to be uh, delivered from, uh, you know, from Jacob's trouble, because part of Jacob's trouble is the hour of temptation. So back to Revelation 13, uh, 13 and 10. We start at uh, 13, 16, <clears throat> straight to the point. And he causeth. Yeah, when you go into that word, causeth, I believe uh, the Greek meaning goes into uh, the author of. Okay, because, you know, Esau, Edom, he is the author, okay, not only of confusion, Okay, but he, he is the author of uh, of deception, man. Okay, because this uh, uh Karak, this Grafos is, is the is the biggest deception. Okay, that's gonna come upon the earth, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, Karaki, a Karak's Grafos. Okay, the uh, implantable, okay, digital device. Okay, the small gadget it says, free and bond to receive a mark, in the right hand. Or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. Yeah, so you can't buy or sell, man. You cannot have the power to move to and fro in this wicked kingdom without having the Karagma slash uh, Karak slash Grafus, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, which is which is what uh, Chai Stai Stigma, you know, which goes more in depth. Ultimately, goes into you know Esau's his pharmacia, pretty much his way of life, man. You know, the, the image, the reflection of Esau Edom. You know, I was actually speaking with a brother, man, that you know Esau Edom promotes something known as uh, uh, democracy. Okay, which when you break that word democracy, the prefix goes into a, a demon. Okay, demo. Okay, uh, or demonized. Okay, which means uh, a way of life. And when you even go in depth into that word uh, democracy or demon, okay, it goes into the word deity. And that word deity, I believe in the, uh, in the Latin, goes into the word dies, which means a way of life and a way of living. Okay, uh, uh, the way that you behave. Okay, in this RFID microchip, which is the Karagma, the Grafos, if you take it, man, you're going to be acting, okay, in a very demonic way. It says, here is wisdom. Yeah, in wisdom, okay, she's like unto what? She's like unto a mother. She's like unto a sister. She's like unto a wife. That gives you third speakers, man. Okay, here is wisdom. Let him, which are the prophets, that have understanding. Yeah, and how do you receive understanding? Job 28, 28. Okay, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. So once you depart from the ways of the so-called white man, okay, you will receive wisdom. And with that wisdom, you'll be able, okay, to understand the number of the beast. Okay, it is the number of Esau Edom. Okay, that man is Esau Edom. He's like unto a beast. Okay, a beast to a man. Matter of fact, let me see if I have a, some notes right here. <clears throat> Going into Revelation. If I don't have it, that's fine. Okay, it looks like I still have it. Kind of. It says beast. The Greek word for beast is therion. A metaphor for a beast to a man. A savage man. Ferocious. Okay, which goes into what? NATO and the EU. Okay, those are so-called vassal states. Okay, those are states that, that help Babylon the Great, okay, you know, stay, stay in power. So back to Revelation 13 and 10. Let me get that. <clears throat> and his number is 600, three, three score and six. All right, Chai Stai Stigma. 
See? So let me get one more precept, Ezekiel 33 and, and 33, man. Okay, because these are prophecies that were prophesied, okay, more than 2,000 years ago, and now they're being, okay, uh, displayed, okay, displayed to this uh, whole world via the voice of Yahweh Shnao Shai, which are the prophets. So Ezekiel 33 and 3, real quick, and reads. I'll start at, um, at 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. Yeah, and that goes into two-thirds of our people here in America. And those, uh, you know, scattered uh, by spirits of Israelites who are not going to take heed to the words of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the prophets. And lo, thou art, so we are unto the two-thirds here in America as a very lovely song. Yeah, and the brothers who are in the highways and hedges, okay, we're singing a new song. Okay, uh, you know, the, the song of salvation, the song of Moses pursuant to Exodus, the 15th chapter. Okay, we are unto our people as a very lo lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. Yeah, so every time brothers go out to the highways and measures, you know, to prophesy the downfall of his kingdom and to warn the nation of Israel about the return of Yahweh Shai and for them to repent. Okay, that's like, like, that's like playing an instrument. You know, every uh, uh, scripture, every uh, uh, holy Bible that a brother holds is like unto an instrument, whether it be a violin, okay, uh, you know, the guitar, the piano. You know, every every brother has their own law. Every brother has their own instrument. It says, and lo, Ezekiel 33 and 32, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that has a pleasant voice and can play very well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do not. Hear them not, okay. So two thirds of our people, primarily here in America, they're listening to the song, man. Okay, they're listening to the uh, the, the the lovely pleasant okay sound of this instrument, okay. But they're not they're not dancing to it. It tells you that it tells you that I believe in the book of Romans. Okay, we have piped unto you, but you have not danced. It says, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this coming to pass, yeah, like the uh. The Walmarts, okay, the systems of Walmarts, okay, uh, that are shutting down, man. Okay, that, that's prophecy. Okay, so when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Okay, it don't say, you know, it might come or it already came. It says it will come, which is a prophecy. Then shall they know, right, then two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, because ultimately this truth, okay, is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, you know, to hell with the heathens, man. You know, the book of Ezra speaks about the heathens be, being like unto Spitter, man. Okay, so we're not here for the heathens. We're only here for the elect. Okay, and the blood is of our hands when we are prophesied to the two-thirds who are not going to repent. Then shall they know, right then, the two-thirds shall know that a prophet hath been among them. See, and what the Lord does, man, with his prophets, he actually, you know, sends them. Okay, throughout the four winds of the earth, whether it be in, the, in various states in Babylon the Great or, or in various uh, different uh, nations, man, the Lord sends his prophets, okay, to warn, okay, the nation of Israel, man, see? <clears throat> so, hey, there you go, man, you know, just a quick testimony, okay, what happened, uh, you know, this morning, grocery store system at Walmart, okay, you know, they are closed, okay, you know, that's a testimony, and that's, uh, you know, prophecies of things to come, man. You know, because uh, ultimately the RFID and cannabis microchip, okay, will be displayed, okay, uh, at the forefront, okay, to attest, okay, your integrity, man, whether you're gonna gonna bow down to the image of Baal or bow down to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Hey, with that, you know, just a quick update, you know, going into the uh, Barakma, the Barakul, or the Karaks. That one says Shalom.